so now we're doing our second fingers crossed wine of the evening and this is the 2018 Grenache and we intentionally had Heidi do a, a close-up picture of the label because the artwork on it is so absolutely fabulous right. and I think for me and David tell me I think Syrah and Grenache are the antithesis of each other Syrah dark power right. meaty right. Grenache elegance beautiful it's a big berry Grenache has more in common with Pinot than than Syrah and Syrah has more in common with Petit Verdot or these dark intense varietals but for me this is so elegant and beautiful what what kind of fruit are you getting out of this Alexis all the gorgeous stone fruits for sure I I, I and, and you don't expect that we, we had a Pinot the other night and, and we thought there was just a kiss of really ripe apricot, but I'm with you. This has some some slightly underripe nectarine, which I mean is a compliment, but there's also boysenberry, and, and you get some of that Kirsch quality. This is Grenache that, that, that's perfectly ripe, but what I like is how it feels on the roof of my mouth. Take a sip of it with me, guys. You can lick the roof of your mouth and feel the glycerin. Great Grenache has to have seduction. And Philippe Combe, the god of Grenache, uh, a, a hero of Nicholas Manfred and mine, he always talked about Grenache's textures. This wine feels like love. That's what great Grenache should be. This is a fabulous expression of Grenache.